Well, that's a bad noise. I think it's someone throwing up. when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red <coughs> pyramid thing. Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just. You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um, you be careful, too. <laughs> I hate hearing them throw up again and again. It's so disgusting. Can I go back in here? Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Do you want... canned juice? Apparently not. Walls covered with football posters and meaningless graffiti. I could care less about either of them. And he said I didn't do it to the dead person in the kitchen. I didn't even see the dead person in the kitchen.
The stairwell's locked. Oh. Only locked from the other side. Still need to go to the fire escape on the third floor. Wait, I never tried room 103. Is there something in the way? Wait, how do I get there? If I go up the stairs, it's just gonna go floor two. There probably was something in the way. Wait. No, that's where I just came from. Oh, I got really turned around for a second. It's probably one that's paved over then, right? Ah, kinda. It's boarded up. That's it for the courtyard. Let's go up to the third floor and use the fire escape key. Could be that door all the way on the left there. It looks like I haven't tried it yet. Mm, pretty much has to be. East side or the west side? I'm on the east side. So I can just go outside and go over to the other one. Wait, if that's not the fire escape, then what is? What here even needs a key? Nothing. Key to door leading from hallway to fire escape. Found in third floor hall. Hmm? Oh. I think it's a typo, actually. I think it's on the second floor. Yeah. If you just look at the item with the quick description, it says found in third floor hall. But if you examine it, they say there was a fire escape at the far west end of the second floor hallway. Second floor. Second floor hallway. Okay, it must be this one.
There's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door? I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Sounds like it's throbbing. Looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Sure. That's so nasty. Looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. Hmm? Guess we're leaving it here, so I better write this down. Before I go out there, the information in the wallet is probably used for the safe. I think the arrows are showing me the direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, to turn this in, because it's 0, 2, and then it points to the right, and then 19, and then it points to the left, and then 0, 8, and then it points to the right. So right, left, right, alternating between the two. So we start with 2, and then we rotate it to the right to 19. And then we rotate it to the left to 8. And then to the right to 9. Oh, that's just a lot of handgun bullets. I guess I didn't need to get in there, but it's nice. I'm surprised how many I can hold. I can hold a hundred? hundred and ten, if you count what's in the gun? I really shouldn't be conserving ammo right now. sounds are so impressive. So many different sounds for each little thing you step on, and they're very good too. Puddles of water. It's a little splash and a noise. Glass, tile, dirt, grass. Exit. I don't think I want to exit yet.
Hmm, I'm red. There's a note stuck on the door. Dear... Dear God. What is that music? Am I being chased? Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. In the room near the first floor staircase. They don't move until they've seen you. How do they even see you? They don't have eyes. I don't have a map of this area. Did I go in here? No. this area either, right? Yeah, because I'm in the other apartment building, probably... What was it called? I don't remember. But it has to be the one right next to it, of course, because we jumped to the other building. Um, they said near the first floor staircase was the key. So let's go down to the first floor. Some of the bug again. <laughs> Did that do anything? I don't know. But it's at least a bit more peaceful. in it. Maybe in here? Something written on the desk. Three bright coins in five holes. B. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Noel, lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Well, there's no reason to try to figure out the order until I have all the coins. There's a line of five one-inch round depressions set into the table. I have one coin, the serpent? Yeah, snake coin. Nothing on the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. I want to 
find a map as soon as I can. belong to the kid that used to live here. come to this town anyway. I... Uh, I'm sorry. Did... Did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. By myself. Besides, I just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Be bad. 
There are magazines on the floor. There's nothing unusual here. I think their name is Angela? Yeah, Angela's knife. Knife from Angela. I don't plan on using this as a weapon. The blade is stained with something red. Yeah, we can't... We can't use it. Can't equip it, that is. Angela's theme is so good. Such an amazing track. And Angela is such an interesting character. They're a fellow traumatized soul with us in Silent Hill. So we need one more coin. Oh, I still don't have a map of this place. Already been in here? Yes. This is where I need to put the coins. This is the way I just came from. It's so hard to tell without a map. I don't think so. No, wait, it is. Not quite done with the first floor. Oh, right, there's the bug I shot when I first came here. So this way is unexplored. second floor, went down to the first floor to try to get the key in David's place, I think it was. So now let's go to the third floor. Oh. I thought it looked sort of like a map, but it was kind of on the ground. Wasn't sure I could pick it up. Oh, that's so cool. This second floor apartment building is joined up with the map of the other one because they're practically touching. That's really cool. Yeah, second floor completely explored. first floor. Did I miss something here? There's another stairwell up there that I didn't try. Let's go there.
Oh, it's this one. Hmm. I ended up having to look it up. I just could not find the third coin. It turns out there's a laundry room on the second floor of the Woodside Apartments where there's something stuck in the garbage chute, and I need to get it out using the can of juice. I guess just the sheer weight of it, I'm not sure. And that's going to be the old man coin, which is the final third coin that I need. There's a trash chute. Some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Yeah, I guess that did it. And now there's a place to collect the garbage outside, back on the ground floor outside the main doors. Just in this alleyway back here, I think is where the garbage comes out. Yeah. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. Old man coin. What's this? Some gossip magazine, huh? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, that's an interesting name, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locane and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. Yeah, Walter Sullivan is, I guess, the star, the antagonist star of Silent Hill 4. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Let's see if we can get this. So we have a prisoner coin. Prisoner looks like a woman. We have an old man coin. Looks like an old man. And we have a snake. Old man, woman, snake. Five spots. So in one end sits the seducer of she. Seducer of she. Is that the snake? Yeah, the snake was the the seducer of Eve. So on one of the ends is going to be a snake. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Null, lies furthest from they. Formless one. It's not the old man, is it? No, the old one beside the serpent sits not. So the old man is not next to the serpent. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. To the prisoner's left. Let's try that again. Snake is on one extreme end. One end sits the seducer of she, the wind from behind the woman doth play. So there's a wind behind the woman, the formless one, I guess that must be the snake, lies furthest from they. That must be the snake, right? So the snake is as far away from she as they can be, and the snake is on one extreme end. So that means the woman is on the other extreme end, and the old one 
It's not beside the serpent. And they're on the prisoner's left. Wait. Uh, mm. Let me try something. Let me try the serpent on the right and then the old man all the way on the left and then the woman next. The woman's supposed to be as far away as possible. So maybe that wouldn't work, but maybe given that the man has to be to the left of her, maybe that's fine. This is going to take a while. <laughs> so the old man all the way on the left. Prisoner just to the old man's right? Evidently that is not correct. Maybe if I just reverse it. Right? Oh, I have to just take him out. I can't like I can't switch him here. But yeah, then the woman could be all... If the serpent's all the way on the left, the woman could be all the way on the right, and the old man could still be behind her. So, snake on the left. Woman all the way on the right, as far away from the formless one as they can be. Still not right. Let's try this. So I've got the serpent on the left, the woman all the way on the right. The old man has to be to the left and is not sitting right next to the serpent. So I tried here just behind the prisoner. That didn't work. This would be right next to the serpent, so that can't be it. So maybe it's in the center? What am I missing? Oh. Well, that worked? Wait, so that was the serpent all the way on the right, and then in the middle was the woman, and then just to the left of the woman was the old man? Because there's... I was trying to go for... Uh, I was trying to take into account the, like, there's wind behind the woman? Wind that she does doth play or something kind of like that. I was thinking maybe that meant there was an empty space behind the woman. And then there also needed to be another space for the old man, which is why I put the woman in the center. Yeah, I guess that works. Wind house key. So this is for just up on floor two, right? Just above us. That room with a sign on it. Two oh nine is probably it. Yeah, this one. There's something weirdly eerie about that chair just sitting in a place so empty, so away from everything else. Just at a weird angle that no one would really want to sit at. A chair next to no furniture, almost touching the wall and sort of angled towards it. 
It's just unnatural. Never able to get into this room. It's not even locked. The door is just ruined. <laughs> 